Hey everyone, Hannah here from Daisy Farm Crafts with a new baby blanket pattern. I'm calling this one the Sweet Lines Baby Blanket because of those cool lines that the stitches for this blanket make with the texture. And as you can see, I found a really cute little book to go with this blanket, perfect for a Valentine's baby. Um, I have a friend who is expecting a baby in February that I'm planning to gift this to. So. Uh, I made this blanket with Bernat Forever Fleece yarn, and I used a size MN 9mm crochet hook. So to get this blanket started, you can start with any number of chains. So for this practice watch, I am just going to chain 10. And for my real blanket, I chained about 60, and that ended up with uh, giving me a kind of a stroller blanket size of about 30 by 33 inches. So you can customize this blanket to however big or small you want. There's no pattern repeat or anything. And once you have your chains, you're going to start in the third chain from the hook. And we're just going to start out with one row of half double crochet. So to do that, you're going to yarn over, insert your hook, then yarn over and pull up a loop. So you should have three loops on your hook. And now yarn over, pull through all three loops. And you're just going to work one half double crochet into each chain all the way across. And once you get to the end of the chain, then you can just chain two and turn. And then I'm going to work um, directly into that last stitch that we just made. So it's kind of count down the third chain from the hook again. And this time I'm going to work a yarn over slip stitch. So I'm going to yarn over insert my hook and pull up a loop, but I'm going to pull that loop directly through the two loops on my hook. Um, we also call this the half double slip stitch. So again, yarn over, insert your hook, pull up a loop and pull that loop directly through the two loops on your hook. So it's, a, it's really similar to half double crochet. You're just skipping the second yarn over. So you always want to make sure that you're just pulling that directly through the two loops on your hook. And when I get to the end, I'm just going to work into the top of the last stitch. I'm not going to to work into the turning chain. And then I'm just going to chain two and turn again. And you can see how the slip stitch makes that really pretty texture on the opposite side. Um, so now I'm just going to go back to working half double crochet. And that's really all this pattern is, is just alternating half double crochet and half double slip stitch. Um, so it's a really great pattern if you are a beginner or if you just want something that works up really fast and is not too hard to keep track of. So I'm just working my half double crochet and just working into the tops of the stitches so you can see that that really pretty kind of braided line goes across. So, and a good rule to remember is that whenever the, um, the braided lines are facing you, you should be working half double crochet. 
when they're facing away from you, you should be working half double slip stitch. So, and you always want to chain two and turn at the end of every row. So I'm just going to work a few more rows of this and then I will show you how I added my little shell border. So once you're done with your blanket, um, you'll want to tie off and weave in all of your ends before you start the border. So I like to just use these big tapestry needles and um, we like to just kind of weave the end in and out of the blanket until it's hidden. And luckily you shouldn't have too many ends for this blanket, only where you switched to a different skein. Which with this yarn, I would probably recommend if you can, um, switch to a new skein at the end of a row, just so um, you don't have a big bump in the middle of your blanket where you had to weave in an end or have a knot. And I'm just going to start with one row of single crochet going around my blanket. So pull up a loop in any corner and chain one. And then I'm just going to try to work one single crochet per row. So I'm going to kind of work into those single loops that are on the side and then just kind of in the spaces next to the braids. Um, it's not super important where you insert your hook, you just want to be consistent every time. So just try to work one single crochet per row all the way across. And then I'm going to work three single crochets into each corner. And now since I'm on the side where my base chain is, I'm going to actually insert my hook in between the stitches instead of right on the edge of the base chain, just so that I get a little bit deeper stitch and that, that base chain doesn't pull away from my blanket with my border. So still just working single crochet all the way across and I'm going to work three stitches into the corner again and then just do the same thing working all the way around. All right, so I just made it back to my starting corner, so I slip stitched into my starting stitch in chain one. So now I'm going to work five double crochets into the next stitch. So I'm going to yarn over, insert my hook, yarn over and pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So that's one double crochet and I'm going to work five total all into that same stitch. So that's three and four 
and five. Now I'm going to skip one stitch and I'm going to work a single crochet into the next stitch. And that kind of ties down our shell. So skip a stitch again and we're back to working five double crochets all into that one stitch. And that's all that there is to um, the shell border. It's always five double crochets, skip, single crochet, skip, five double crochet, all the way around. And when it comes to the corners, um, you kind of want to just do whatever looks best. Luckily, it looks like on this time, um, my shell kind of landed in the corner, so I can just keep the pattern going. Um, but if you need to skip two stitches um, before you work your, your single crochet or your shell, um, you can do that sometimes. If um, I'm supposed to work a single crochet right into the corner, then I'll work a slip stitch instead um, just so that the, the shells are a little more rounded and that the, the slip stitch kind of um, ties them down into the corner better. There's not really a hard and fast rule. Every corner is going to be different, so you want to just um, make it do whatever you need to do to make it look um, as best as you can. And then once you've made it all the way around, you can just slip stitch into the starting corner and tie off. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed this pattern. Um, please come share a picture with us if you make any of our projects from Daisy Farm Crafts. Even if you use a different yarn, we would love to see what you've made. Um, you can come share a picture with us on Facebook or Instagram using hashtag Daisy Farm Crafts. And as always, the free written pattern for this blanket is on daisyfarmcrafts.com.